Hey everyone, Reborn8 here with R8 Gaming with another driver's side chat. Today, this afternoon, I'm going to be talking about gamers. Now, to me, a gamer is somebody who, of course, plays games, but does it constantly I guess you could say by that I mean like let me just go through my typical day I wake up in the morning get ready for work I have a wife I have a son my wife takes care of my son in the morning I go off to work do my work stuff um, while I'm at work on breaks, lunchtime, I might dabble and go online and check out gaming sites, you know, see what's, you know, news about gaming. I come home, do stuff with my wife, my son, put my son down, and I go to my computer. Now, my computer is a custom built machine that I built myself, especially for gaming. Um, and I'll usually go to my Steam account. And what I'll do is pretty much... <clears throat> I kind of always just go through the games I already have, you know. And then I check out, you know, what, what's new? What's coming out new? What are the indie games? But I will engage in a game. Usually for a period of time, maybe several different games. I might switch back and forth to like a sports game, to an RTS game, to an FPS game to a role-playing game but I have my certain time period of what I call gaming Now I think that kind of defines what a gamer is it's just somebody who's always gaming somebody who's always playing a game now that might be a console game that might be a game on your phone it could be a PC game. Really, if you're putting in a certain amount of time to a game per day, and it doesn't need to be every single day, but I say maybe week weekly, I would quantify that as you being a gamer. If it's something that you're thinking about a lot too, you know, in the back of your mind, or you have knowledge. Like I saw somebody was interesting. Um, I saw somebody with the N7, you know, the the Mass Effect shirt. It was an old shirt at the, where was this? I think I was at the mall I saw it. And when I saw this guy, it's one of those things like, if you're not a gamer, you probably don't know what that shirt, that N7, what that means, what that stood for in Mass Effect. But being a gamer, I could relate to it. And I'm not afraid when I see somebody with something like that on, I let them know. I was like, hey, nice shirt, bro. Nice Mass Effect shirt. And I think it's one of those things that gamers, we know that. Now, this guy could have been wearing a shirt that he didn't know anything about, you know. But, you know, he just said, he said thanks, you know. But it's one of those things, it's like a, a code. Gamers have a code. Now, Mass Effect, um, that is a large game, so it's one of those things that might be, um, I guess, I don't know, anomaly or whatever. So if somebody like talked about a certain indie game, I might not know what it's about, but would I be, would I feel like I should not be considered a gamer? No, you know, I still feel like I'm a gamer. I mean, it's a certain game that I don't know, but... I do consider myself a gamer because it's something that's part of my life, I guess you could say. If it's another thing, that's another thing. If it's part of your life, going to your console, going to your computer, going to whatever your phone and playing a certain game or games repeatedly, I mean, you're, you're always searching for the next game, you're always, that quantifies you to me as a gamer. You know, you might agree with it, you might not. Hey, let me know, but to me, that's a gamer. A gamer is somebody who games constantly, is always gaming, kind of is in the know about the new games coming out. Um, 
And since they're always gaming, they have history with the old games as well. But I kind of just wanted to talk about that, you know, bring that up. Because I think some people are quick to label people as, oh, he's a gamer, you know. And it could have a bad inclination or a good one, depending on who you're talking to. But, you know, there's a lot of gamers out there, people. There's a lot of gamers, um, and you really don't know who's a gamer. You can't tell, you know, you can't tell by looking at, oh, that person's a gamer, you know. Some, you know, are more open with it. Like I said, that guy that had the Mass Effect shirt. So he has a shirt, he's showing that he's, you know, but like I said, it could be very deceiving, too. He might not be a gamer at all. He could be a poser, you know. Let me put this shirt on and see what people, you know, it could be testing, you know. I've done that before. I've got a, um, you know, I'm a Star Wars fan. And I got a shirt that has the um, um, Mandalorian symbol on it. And it's one of those where I was at the zoo once and some guy came up to me. Actually, another guy had the exact same shirt, you know, and it was so, it was so trippy and cool, you know, because I was like, hey, nice Mandalorian shirt, you know, but, you know, my co-worker thought it was the Punisher symbol, <laughs> so, you know, it's one of those things that if you know it, you know it, if you don't, you don't, but, um, it's all fun in the end, you know, it is, it's really all fun in the end, but us, ga us gamers, we know who we are, you know, and people will defy, define who we are, you know, but whatever their, their definitions of us, you know, we know who we are. Have you ever been to a gaming convention like PAX or something like that? We all know who we are. But, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it for today's driver side chat. And I really enjoyed doing this one. I liked it. I enjoy most of them, but yeah, I I just love speaking off the <clears throat> off the cuff. I guess you can say I don't script this stuff. It just I pick a topic and go for it. It's real. It's raw, and it's as truthful as I can be. But um, that's it for today, brothers and sisters. Wherever you are out there, this is Reborn8 from R8 Gaming signing off. And as always, game on.